Bing wow. on Prime Death yeah, that was a long death match. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So those these two, there's history between these two, and it's been oh, always been these two characters. Gosh. As far as we've seen in Tekken Seven, anyway, Miguel versus uh, Gigas. This is. I, I don't. Want, I can't even make any jokes. This game. This one is just going to be a treat for the eyes. Yeah. Everyone yeah. in the chat. Enjoy this. Just enjoy this game. Yeah, for I'm sure. Like, right? I'm like, uh, in fact, none of us are going to commentate. We're just going to be silent. No, we're going to commentate for the whole match. The whole set. <laughs> 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 they, gave, they gave you punishment. They were like, because you've been away in tournaments so long, you have to commentate one round. <laughs> no, I was like, bro, I didn't nah, know. Nah, and if it felt bad for you, bro, you started talking yeah. and then you was like, you know, <laughs> man, man. <laughs> I didn't know we were really doing it. He was, uh, he was, uh, he was like that guy that needs that uh, body. They throw me the flotation device. I'm drowning. I feel like if you did that to me, that's more a punishment for the stream than anything. I feel like the chat was like that. Bro, like, if only it's a game that I don't know what's happened before. I don't know who's like doing what. I'm just like there, like, okay, I need to talk quickly, man. <laughs> and Sefi Black get robbed by the wall. Oh, no, not like this. Yeah, that's dead, yeah, that's dead, yeah. Okay, so a few things happened there. First of all, you saw a buff. I think a season four buff to Miguel. His Zav one four, his wall bounce. You can't step anymore. I don't know if Giga's gonna step it anyway. Yeah. After you block the first hit, he went for one two four, and then the wall just spag. We've said it before. The pack when you say this game is bell. Bell is unfaithful. Yeah, it's unfaithful. You know, that, that that combo should have hit, but Look. Steffi Black working a big comeback this round. He should yeah, this, this is right? just great, great yeah. stuff. Yeah. That is one thing that, you know, Gigas will struggle with, I guess, is if someone, you know, really, really plays aggressively versus you, gets those plus frames, you know, he's a big character that can't really sidestep. And versus Miguel, you know, sidestepping is very, very important, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Moves like Sav 2 being minus 9 now, his Savage stance, you know, you really want to walk around it. You don't want to get a count hit there, because we're going to go to the wall. We're going to see a nice combo here from Sefi Black. I lied. Mm. Yeah, so like, like, we couldn't get much. Oh, oh no punish, though. Punish, yeah. Yeah. Pastuto not broken as well. Emperor not looking too sharp right now. Nice. Yeah. Set you black. Confidence. So well, yeah. Is it just me or is there like some kind of aura around Sefi Black today? Like it feels like he's playing super confident all day. Um, just the way he's moving, the way he's playing these matchups. Yeah. Um, I think it could potentially be time for Sefi Black to win an ICFC. Oh, yeah. I couldn't feel it, especially winning this game against someone who traditionally he's a, had a long history with. Yeah. You know, this would, it would be a big statement forward to there. Um, and I think with everyone in losers bracket, you know, he's the probably the biggest shark there right now is probably you say Calico Devilin, right? And uh, probably mm -hmm. the biggest shark for me looking at the losers bracket, you know, so he, he beat both of them today. Yeah, yeah. 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 I know here. Sad too. I love the patience. I love the patience oh, of the Emperor. Beautiful. Man. One more punish. Yeah. And that's that's something that you know, being a Gigas main, you like normally a character you can't jab punish from that range. Nice counter hit there. Um, but knowing you play Gigas, you know the character's jab range in one two, such a big punish, whiff punish. A uh, nice absorption there, and regular Ooh. throw not broken by Sefi. Anakin, avert your eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, we haven't had many Pika games, so that's actually just. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> Pika tried to throw me so much, man. <laughs> I hope you broke them all. Broke all of them. There wasn't a single one go. that wasn't broken. Mm, nice. My guy. Look at that. Emperor turning it around. He's got yep. the lead. Big, big lead thing. now. Any kick, Ooh, low kick will do. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, big risk at the end there. And, and Emperor, I, we were talking about how good Sefi Black was and then out of nowhere, K was Emperor taking that yeah. and playing, just making a statement, taking the first set. I mean, one thing we were seeing here right now is, you know, Emperor's just taking a, a while to warm up. You know, he started off not so hot, you know, getting hit by regular throws. Um, but then as the time goes as time goes on, he's getting more comfortable in the set. You know, playing against someone, these two have so much history. These that we're gonna see the mind game within mind game stuff between yeah. these two because they played this specific matchup so much. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. that's when the in-depth stuff, you know, starts to come out. Um I really like the use of jab from the Emperor. I mean Miguel's range is typically uh, is is famously one of his worst attributes. You know, Gigas, you can just keep him at bay with the one jab, playing jack, two jab, basically. Yeah. Um, and then when he wants to go for that one, two, it's, just, it's a big punish. And um, I think Miguel might not be able to launch at all ranges, but I'm just going to say that. I'm mm. throwing that into the atmosphere. If, if, if a one, two is not launched, remember that. If it is launched, forget it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I really I really like the game Emperor's playing right now. I yeah. really like it, but Steffi Black is still strong as well. He bet everything on the end of the down for one, two. I don't disagree with the decision. When you're about to die, Throw something else, see what happens. You know, you've got nothing left to lose besides the little bit of health. So, 100%. Uh, I, I like the way they're playing right now, both. 
Both, I mean, the final round is a close one. Um, mm -hmm. the, like you said, deep level mind games. The lasagna has many layers, you know, as Aris used to say. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, let's see, man. Let's see. But I want to know, man, how many Swedes have we got in the chat? How many Germans have we got in the chat, man? Let's go, man. I want to see some, uh, some, let's see some native language in the, in the chat. Let's get some uh, people cheering for their boy, man, because these are two countries that got eliminated from the Euros hmm. yesterday. Yeah, now they've got, <laughs> now they win the finals, man. <laughs> I, are you serious, dude? Infinite is your wow. one. Wow. Bro, what's going black they, they like hates you guys. They don't like the other one. <laughs> Man, they don't like Infinite as a two. They just no, want no chat. Yeah. Steffi Black doesn't like you. He doesn't. <laughs> Maybe he, he hates Black you. Not watching the stream and he doesn't know about all, he, the all he has to do is is wow. click one to the right to get Infinite as your two, and he chooses not to do it because he said three prizes. Uh, <laughs> him, I, you know what? I, I, I think uh, it might be a German thing. I, Mihawk was doing the same I, thing. I, I, I don't know. I'm not trying to ruffle any feathers. I'm not trying to ruffle any feathers. I'm just saying. I don't want you to have any free astral prizes. Sorry. <laughs> I, I feel like it's uh, spag, you know, it's a community thing. It's a good, yeah, yeah, 100%. 100%. Yeah. All right. Um, I've combo I think you get a special setup here. Yeah, that, um, uh, I think Steph that back rolls there, that down two launches in for the Wow, what the again. hell? Punish. What does Steffi do here? Huge life deficit. He can start nice. throwing away though. There's the Steffi hot kick. That's dead, right? Kill. That's dead. That's dead, Ready yeah. Up, do you know what I was about to say? Yeah. That's dead, that's dead. Sure. Actually. Is Herodic here coming? Nah, he's dead. No, 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 he's dead. Call it now. He's dead. Sure he's we have enough time. Is he dead or alive? Dead. dead. I'm saying dead. dead. Really dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys doubt yeah, him. The hot kick bailed him out there. I mean, that was Emperor's round too, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know what? Sefi Black has stolen so many rounds with that hot kick. Um, <laughs> I'm sure Ru Kang, you, you felt it sometimes. I felt myself when I play against him. You know, like it just changes the entire tide of the game, but not for the Emperor who starts off very well this round. I'm not gonna yeah, lie, I've got all, all of his hot kicks before, bro. I, oh, yeah, I, I don't care about any of them. I don't know about you. That's because you're never wrong, Spag, so you yeah, never get wrong with it. Exactly, exactly. That's nice, right? Emperor using a lot of jabs, though, I've noticed the last few games, just Ooh. trying to keep him in check. And he needs to realize that Steffi Black is starting to notice this stolen round before by hop kicking. Um, sidestep, hop kick, and now the magic is going to take the round. Yeah, all right. That one hurt me. <laughs> mm. That's back to back games. Yeah. Oh, down to excellent with punish their stun. I mean, you start off both rounds very well, but you know, Steffi managed to claw it back. Mm -hmm. Nice punish there. I want yeah. to so strong. That used to be minus 14. That's what I'm saying. What do you yeah, the Emperor has been Here starting all of these rounds off really, really well. It's just a matter of closing it out now. Steffi Black with rage again. You gotta watch out for the hop kick, man. <laughs> Don't get hit mm -hmm. by anything silly. Oh. <laughs> oh, nice low there. Was in a power crush state. Raise drive gone now. The combat mechanic gone Ooh. forever. The delay hop kick this time. Okay. I mean, you know what? I respect the decision because regular hop kick, you know, the damage wouldn't have been enough. Go for the delay. You're going to die no matter what. So. so the damage buff, like, that Miguel gets from his combos is, is, is quite a bit because his combos already hurt. So adding a few, like, 15% more or whatever uh, makes it over half life. Takes him over that threshold. Yeah. Wow, oh, Emperor board, board two. Come back, oh, nice. Come back, just like last game. Man. They're yeah. pretty much even, and it comes down to the last round, and just gotta play that last round perfectly. Oh wow, a jab just again, range, man. A keeping Sefi Black oh. at bay. Ooh. I don't know, man. This is looking kind of creepy right oh. now. Oh, down to punish that. Nice season four stuff. Mm -hmm. Down back two. <gasps> okay, oh, 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 like a high. Oh, he oh. Oh. No, he's pressing his team with the kick ass things now. Dimash. He's gonna Look be rage. Flash. Wow. Emperor. Oh, he could have punished that first. The Emperor. Emperor's defense has been on point, so it's going to take a lot of work to get back in the game right now. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> Just three minutes in a row there. No lows yet from Sefi Black. He needs to start yeah. thinking about doing those lows. There it is. A couple lows into a hop kick would actually be golden Ooh, for Sefi Black. Oh, he should use the rage art right here to put himself in the best you know, position. I would take, I would take Ooh, a lot of damage with a combo. Drop the combo. So he's gonna he regret that. He didn't finish the one too. Oh, oh no! Nah. He didn't do any of those options. Anakin was saying he should have done the rage up, right? Yeah. I think um, the rage up put him like in a position where like yeah. uh, he can kill in one hit. And to go like that round went from a point where it was like ninety percent Emperor versus like Sephiroth Black's little bit of health, and all yeah. of a sudden you could turn around and flip it into that situation. I think you gotta go for that play instead of like, you know what I mean? You're two steps away from victory as opposed mm -hmm. to one step away from victory. If you go for the rage arc, because at that point, rage doesn't matter. Your opponent has so little life. But he didn't do any of that. He dropped his combo. So. Yeah, he, he tried to go for the, for the Savage up forward three to get the flip over. He messed that up. And that would have given him um, a very good Oki, Okizemi situation with keeping rage. You know, that would have been. Maybe mm. he was thinking that, okay, to have rage in, in my back pocket as well for the comeback. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, 
that's once again, I feel like that was a reverse sweep from Emperor, right? That was three rounds straight. Yep. So, yeah, yeah. Yep. 2 0 now reverse for the Emperor. Like, and like Anakin said, it was just the defense, the defense, man. Defense on point, man. On point. I just, I just think, really good. Yeah, what was glaringly obvious to me is that the Infinite Azure pick didn't work out. I feel like Infinite Azure 2, everything changes on that stage. 100%. Yeah, exactly. I feel like what, that's what, just, what just benefits the pick, man? I feel like that's that's where like you like you know, like you said you get the commentators on your side immediately. Yeah, that's all you got. <laughs> he went for the savage up forward three for the flip over, right? I feel like you don't mess that up on Infinite Azure two. When the Infinite Azure one, the background is a bit lighter, like the sun going around. Oh no, I can't see my my, my input, right? I feel like Infinite Azure two is darker, it's a bit more calm. You're, you're not gonna miss. Oh, <laughs> Seth, you just don't oh my bro, bro, I promise you, no, okay, Wiz, he's not watching the stream, guys. These guys don't see the bounties, so they're not watching the stream. They're probably streaming right now. So I disagree. I disagree. They, 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 everyone should everyone should know the bounties going in. You know. Yeah. Should be the first I, thing I, I tattoo the bounties on my forearm before every stream. <laughs> on your my forehead. Is... So you can see yourself <laughs> when you're streaming. <laughs> my, my arm is covered with ICFC Astro Board Fight. bounties, so I never forget. Just... If you don't have that level of dedication, don't enter ICFC. <laughs> anyway, so you've got to be, from, from, London. Be from London as well if you're going to enter London. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 2-0. Nice. Nice from Emperor. Okay, good punish as well uh, from, from Zephy Black. Let's see if Zephy Black can start off Race well. Uh, you well. wanted a 1-2-4, 1-2, 1-plus-2 one, two, one in the back there. It didn't work out. Nice. Dunk and excellent punish there from Zephy. Mm. Knows that Lois launch. There is a follow-up, but yep. he didn't expect him to finish it. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's information for Emperor now, knowing that he can go for that low and finish it. Yeah. Um, because Steffi Black's ready, man. Reaction's on point. Ooh, oh, great block, but no, it's not the punish. There's a lot more aggressive oh, uh, aggression from Steffi Black, because that's what has been working. You know, Emperor's been comfortable at that mid-range, using the jab, using forward, forward, two, forward, two as well. And now Steffi Black yeah, not giving him any room to move. Mm -hmm. That's much yeah, better. So now, yeah. what Steffi Black needs to do now is carry on at the same pace. Before, exactly. in the previous games, he, he was backing off. So now he needs to go in, jab again, <clears throat> down forward one, down forward one, but backing off again a little bit. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that's what was, this is. It's like Steffi is switching to a style he knows he works against Emperor. The aggression, that's what's getting him these rounds. Then he's defaulting to our usually plays, okay, passive, backdash, uh, duck while standing launcher, right? And when that starts happening, Emperor gets into the game, so Steffi needs to close this one out now. A 3 would be a big statement, especially when you need a complete reverse sweep to win the set. Mm. Yeah, every time he backs off like that, he gives the Emperor a chance to find like a crucial counter hit or a turning point to make the comeback, you know what I mean? So probably with the lead, it's better to continue to be risky, be aggressive, and, and make your opponent come back Cool. That way, like it's tougher Steffi, when you're Steffi down and you end it now. To deal with nah, it. Yeah. No, just, sir. Yeah. I feel like that was the obvious option there, the charge punch. So mm -hmm. Sefi didn't respect it at all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. When we just did the unblockable, just straight up. Just yeah, but he would have still had a massive life lead. So he was he's mashing up the whole time. But where it where it where it just tail spun like randomly, it was just <laughs> just just randomly. Like the girls unblockable and it just killed you, just one hit. <laughs> 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 Imagine that actually happened though. But yo, good, good stuff though from um. Good stuff from Sethi. Look, he went. He's the one that went to the infinite stage. He's the one that's picking mm -hmm. this stage, right? But mm -hmm. um, him being aggressive is what's working. Him, him closing the distance. You know, all the moves that he used in that last round: down four two, jab forward four two, forward two. These are moves that that, that Gigas uses at mid range to keep you out and not let you get in. Forward two is a counter at launcher, right? So that's what's been working. Sethi, when he got into that range where you know Miguel can start to use his own jabs. That's when he got uncomfortable. That's when Sefi started yeah. to get the wins. And he needs, like Mario said, he needs to continue doing that, man. Don't change the formula if it's, if it's working. Yeah, if, if it's working, like, then, like, there's no need to change. Uh, and he can clearly see, uh, Sefi Black's a smart player. Like, he knows, like, okay, I'm being aggressive now. I'm jabbing down foot one, down foot one, jabbing, going for a few cheeky lows. And, and it's working. So hopefully we see the same from Sefi Black. But can but Emperor adapt to Sefi's play style now? Man, don't care. Man don't care about the stage, he just went random yeah. to that stage, you know, that's crazy. I, I, w I was going to say, the problem here for Sefi Black is he's, he's, he's shown his hand. He's shown that he wants to play without the walls, he wants to move around and he wants to play space. Um, and with two games maximum left, one of the Emperor wins here, Sefi has to win two in a row. Uh, but he doesn't get to go back to the infinite stage unless Emperor random selects him. Us Emperor just picked Mishma Dojo back to back, right? You mm. bring those walls in place where Sefi doesn't want to play. You have to take him here, right? And he has the choice to do that, but he went for the, uh, the random select. Gets hammerhead. It's a big stage, so Sefi won't be too upset about that. Yeah, yeah. I love the way that Sefi's starting off right now. Just playing, look at yeah. his jab, down forward one, exactly how he needs to be played. Just playing in that range that where Miguel's jabs will hit. 
We all know like how fast Miguel can pile up damage. Things can snowball really quick once he gets in your face in Savage Stance, getting those moves. And nowadays, he doesn't even need the low kick. You know what I mean? He doesn't even need to take that risk. He can chop you down with the tracking moves and the pokes. So that's clearly the, the key to victory here for Seven Black. He needs to find his way in. And that's why Emperor is throwing so many keep out jabs. He does not want Miguel to get in, where it's tough for a big character to escape from that point on. Mm. Yeah. Great start here there from the Emperor. Takes the first round. It's also for the lead in the second round right now. This isn't where Sefi wants to be. That's so many mids. I just counted eight oh, mids in a row. That's a great oh, start. Guess the right time. Time. Yeah. Yeah. That's a deadly game that you're playing if you're Gigas. If you want to run that mix up, like it's not yeah. favorable for you. Yeah. The, the the mid is launch punishable and the like, the final hits are high that you can clearly delay hot kick punish. So yeah, yeah like Anakin said, you gotta be careful. Yeah, and the, the high doesn't do much damage anyway, so yeah. Isn't the high unsafe as well? On block? I can't remember. I don't think so. Safe on block, but I mean, it doesn't give you a combo on hit. So if you look at the comparison yeah. between risk reward results. Yeah. It's like one guy's getting a combo where you're just like getting a hit. Either way, though, yeah. Emperor on set point to move into Grand Finals. He's done a good job in keeping his distance. Sefi is still trying to get in there, though. Yeah, it's not working out. Emperor's oh, no. Three, and that was beautiful. And going to go to the other side of the wall here. But it yep. was such a bad situation. Bam, bam. Going to get full wall damage as well. Oh, try to go for the throw. had to break that. That would have been huge, but forward two counting it. There we go again. Sefi trying to get into range. Dead. Oh. Oh, my God. He tried to. Is Emperor going to move into Grand Finals here? One more hit. There it is! Block. Excellent there from the Emperor. The Emperor will move oh, into man. Grand Finals here with a three round straight in that in that last match. Crazy stuff, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Emperor came, coming out of nowhere. No one was even thinking about this man uh, mm -hmm. winning this tournament. But 